everyone, so um, today I'm going to be doing a sort of complimentary color look based on my Ben Nye Lumiere palette. I finally got this in the mail about a week ago and I've just been kind of trying it out. So yeah, it has all these beautiful 12 colors. Um, for today I'm going to be using Sun Yellow and Amethyst and a little bit of ice right here. Um, but yeah, it's on my finger. But anyways, these colors are just so amazing. I cannot get over how well these work. Um, so yeah, I recommend you guys all get that. I will put a link in the sidebar for, um, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, get a link on the sidebar for the website. And also, when you're doing complimentary colors, it's good to get a color wheel because this will help you out a lot. Works perfectly. I have five bucks on Michaels. So anyways, I'm going to be doing this, um, what, yellow and purple. Um, yeah, because since they're complementary colors. So a little closer look. So yeah, yellow, purple, blended in the middle. Goes together now. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys like this and stay tuned for the little mini-series I will be putting up. And thanks for watching. Okay, so first and foremost, since I just got this today in the mail, my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, yeah, so let me, my mirror killing me. Okay, so I'm going to put this all over. Okay, so first I'm going to take that sun yellow. And the pigments in here are just amazing. Like, they just need very little and it goes on all the way. So with this color, um, I'm just going to put it about, well, almost all the way. I'm going to leave a little space, like, right here open. So that the purple will be very vibrant in that area. <laughs> For that, I'm going to be taking Amethyst, which is that purple right there, with my, where is it, my 217 from MAC. Um, so just roll that in there, tap off the excess, and where I kind of left it a little open with the yellow, put it right there. And you're going to want to start blending that up into it. We've got Mira, Willie, and Tip Mira in separate rooms. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of clean that off a little, and then I'm going to go back with the sun yellow. I'm just dab it in there a couple times so you barely get any on there. And then I'm going to kind of, let's see, what is it, blend this in together. Otherwise, when you do that with, or if you put these colors together without blending them, they don't look good together at all. So... I'm going to have to go back a little with the purple. Okay, so the next I'm going to add um, liquid eyeliner because I don't really feel like putting eyelashes on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, anyways, I cover that. I'm going to put a thin line. This will actually give the um, kind of illusion of thicker lashes. I don't know how, but it just makes it darker and makes your eyelashes look more fuller so okay, now for as a highlight I'm gonna take ice which is this one and where is my highlight brush and this is a very very awesome color I really love it it's replaced my max vanilla which I usually use for a highlight this totally replaced it and then curl your lashes and add whatever mascara you want for this one we use lash black just help give that effect of longer lashes. For lips, I'm just gonna kind of go with a clear. Well, no, not clear. I'm gonna go kind of like a brownish. And with this, I'm gonna be using L'Oreal's what Jelly Balm, and this one is in Luscious. And it looks like that, like a dark color. But the good thing about this is that that color doesn't really come out. It becomes it doesn't get that dark, like when you get it, hopefully you guys can see that, but it, it just makes your lip go like a shade or two darker. 
Okay, so that there pretty much can. Ah. Wrong. 